Why the hell are we wandering so much anyway? Nothing against the Mojave, except the dust, heat, and scorpions, but... A man who shot you. And you got better. Two shots in the head without an auto dock is a lot of patching. Hope you thanked him properly. Who's this snake that put bullets in your head? Did he have cause, or...? So he robbed you? Robbing a courier's low. And any family or group he's with is gonna get a black eye for it. Caravan Code of the Wastes is you don't fuck with the one who brings you your mail. And you don't fuck with your supply line. Hope this shithead knows what he's in for. From both of us. What's his name? Can't say I've heard the name. Or heard about any man dressed like a seat cover. Still, suit means money, and suits stand out. Especially here in the Mojave. One of the larger towns, or Vegas, might be the place to go. Don't you worry, though. We'll sort this asshole out. Rattle his cage a little. All right, then. Watch yourself around here. The only rule in Freeside is don't mess with the kings. Your merchant friend would make a fine NCR woman. Like they got things right now, McCarran now. I hope you're We're doing well, friend. a big increase in traffic here. The hey. fiends are running for their lives. Hi. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Sorry, but all the people with real money are heading for the strip, so that's the way I go. You wanna go somewhere else? Hire one of these losers. Done and done. I wanna mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. If you get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever knew services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. have got stuff we're not even allowed to, to sell, one. people. Only at... Down to the right here. Down to the town. You haven't seen fruit. You've the Wrangler. You want some... Slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Over here! 
nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in lowlife right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. Stay close. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. I trust you'll keep your mouth shut about the topic we were just discussing, or else. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay, then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the Strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. We're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. The Wrangler's just down the street. You're almost there already. Howdy. They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. Yep. Hello. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. 
Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Wayne? That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? What? No! I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Hey, wait. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. Might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something with a T. Tenant. That's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Hope what I remembered helps. The gun runners ought to help the followers. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. What do you want to talk about? More than rough, it's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. What did you want to... Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. A den of iniquity. 
The Garrets do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. Their thugs, on the other hand, they keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother-sister psychopath teams? Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. What did you want to know? What seems... You don't show any signs of physical dependency. Nothing I can do for psychological dependency, I'm afraid. That's easy enough to... Hold still. By donating this some of that fire power they've got. Quickly. Anything else? Great. How much? Thanks. How much? Thanks. Thanks. Any Thanks for the donation. Every bit goes toward helping Freeside. We're pretty short-handed as it is, but I suppose I could spare a few items. Wasted on the strip. There are people in Careful Freeside who need the food and medicine. Hey! You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. But my damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was gonna turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Later. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Those fools are from NCR. 
I love seeing those squatters in agony. We were doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. We don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop, if there's something in it for me. Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Have a look, baby. Pleasure doing business with you. Let. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? What? I need a fix now! Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm gonna need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers should be able to help. I never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. Thank God. I thought I was gonna die if you didn't come back. I'm gonna head to the Followers Fort to get some rest and detox. You've saved my life, friend. Check it out, between the dumpsters there. Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Hey! How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Goodbye.
I don't handle buying and selling for the Gunrunners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. For around five years now, I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the Gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off-limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. None were Welcome, sir, or... All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on-site. This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. I am ready to... See us again soon. You ready to die? Serving up some hurt.
that all you want? Those squatters think they're entitled to everything. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. I've got my eye on you. You cross the gate.
Come on, man, I'm dying here. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. This has gone on too long. If you say you're going to gather evidence, then kill the bitches anyway, at least tell me when you change your mind. Now if you're done fucking around, let's settle accounts the old-fashioned way. Don't matter much how we settle this, as long as it gets settled. Just trim the Van Graaff family tree. I think Freeside will breathe a little easier now. Now, on to settle accounts with Alice McLafferty. Putting her down? That would suit me just fine. Can't wait to see the look on her face when I show up. She'll know why. Music to my ears. See what you got. Let's distribute the weight.
Time to make some new friends. Music to my ears. Let's see what you got. Let's distribute the weight. Let's see what you got. Hello. You're back. All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle enough. I'm afraid you can't handle any more implants right now. Your body isn't durable enough to take it. Sorry. Another strong will. Welcome. Only a little. 
A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Buddy, spare a cap? I can make it worth your while. Could be, could be. That kind of information doesn't come cheap, though. I'll need at least 150 caps for this one. You're a scoundrel. I'll let it go for 50, but no lower. Much appreciated. The guys you're talking about have been spotted near the old train station in the northwest. There have been more and more squatters heading that way each night, too. Word is, there's a password to get into the building. It'll cost you 250 caps. Wow, I might have to head down to the Wrangler tonight with all these caps weighing me down. I've heard here and there that the word hope has recently become quite popular with the squatters. But that's all I've heard. If I knew more, I'd try to bilk you out of more caps. You interested in one of my other tips? The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, Currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. That's two tips, but what the hell. You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Wanna hear another? Ever hear of the Gunrunners? They sell just about every kind of firearm you can imagine. And some you probably couldn't. What do you say? Want another tip? I understand. Well, have a good day. Hey! 
Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. and said to give you this. the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the food. Howdy. Hello again. I've done a bit. Some. All right. Bye. Hate to say it, but business has improved since the troopers started coming through Freeside to get to Vegas. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. I'd prefer you not kill anyone with a debt. It's a bit difficult to collect on a corpse. Just get the caps from them. After that, I couldn't care less what happens to those dead beats. If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. All right, 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the Apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Anything else you need? Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. The prostitutes here aren't slaves. They decide who they service. You best make a good first impression if you want what they have to offer. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Talk to you later. Hey. You again. What do you want? Yeah, what? Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Bye. Place your bets and give the wheel a spin.
It's uh, great to be. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. And who would that be? I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Imagine that! What's his name and when's he start? A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Later. Up here, looking down at all your smiling faces. That won't last long. You know, some... Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Yeah, go on. Scram. located just before the East Gate. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Ha, 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 ha.
Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? Please, don't let me keep you if you have somewhere else to be. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago, he's a freeside VIP. Yes, indeed. Santiago is very important. I even have a discount in Mick and Ralph's. Perhaps you could use Santiago's discount. For 50 caps, Santiago will tell you the super secret code word to get a discount with Mick. Santiago thanks you. Tell Mick Santiago sent you, and the code word is extravaganza. Sir, Santiago told you. Santiago has no debts. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Come on back if you have any interesting news. Thank you. 
If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. <laughs> Are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. But that place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Anything else I can help you with? Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. All right, come back in a couple days, and I should have it ready for you. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. What do you want to... They're the local energy weapon. Gloria's men are the best armed in Freeside and ruthless to boot. But her brother... Just let me know. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Have a look. You aren't the first poor sucker who's come in here saying that. We don't do discounts here. Sounds like you were ripped off. I go get your money back from Santiago. Sure. Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we get by. Van Graaff's getting killed is making a mess of things, but we have other customers. That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know. Anything else I can help you with? Are they looking to buy guns? Then talk to my partner, Ralph. Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? In that case, yes I do. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. How's it going? <laughs> 